description box. May the 7th, 2017. You're looking at live webcam images this afternoon from Orville. And uh, this is Orville Dam. We've seen them many times. They're going to pull this up a little closer as we go through the three different angles they give us. And you can tell they've let a lot of water out of the reservoir. And that's a good thing. And uh, But they're slowing it down just a bit now because I'll show you why the rivers are getting in really high stages throughout this area. And they've got another storm coming in into the Sierras. And they're going to have about seven feet of snow melting. So they have slowed down the uh, outflow of many of the major dams, Trinity, Shasta, Oroville, because of the river levels. And as they change cam uh, camera angles, you can see how much water they've let out. And that's a good thing, but they're kind of reaching that delicate balance point of trying to keep the river levels intact from the outflow and watching the inflow also. But guys, I can tell along the shore that they're down several feet because I watched it so many times. Usually that water is right there at that rock level along this bottom terrace. And you can usually see these three separate uh, humps and then this area here. So they've drained it quite a bit in anticipation. That's not the only problem. They've always said, well, the dam is really in really good shape. It's the overflow and things like that and the spillway that's had the problems. And if you look at this, guys, uh, extremely low compared to what we've seen. You can see the construction over there on the far right. And what they're doing is kind of amazing to me, and it's kind of scary at the same time, is they're d doing dynamite blast on that side of the dam to uh, terrace it off and they're going to do they're starting to do it on the other side blasting down creating a terrace so you don't have that straight runoff but looking at the dam levels uh trinity is uh 96 percent total capacity shasta is orville that we're looking at is 77 it's 94 percent of historical averages as you look at these reservoir levels around the state you can see they're all full now shasta and Trinity are above the uh, historical levels as much as 111%. But look at Oroville Dam, and this is kind of a telltale here. Reservoir elevation, 845. Uh, the uh, storage in acre feet, 2,745,000. We've seen that up to 3 million. That's what I'm talking about, about the water level. Outflow, 7886, very low. That's cubic feet per second. Inflow is three times that at 21608. They are working on the dam there. And it's critical. And they had a big meeting and yesterday. And several citizens were concerned with an aspect of not the spillway, but of the huge dam itself. And they're saying that there's a leak there that has not sealed itself because there's grass growing, and I'll show you pictures of that, that and also there's erosion above those green spots. The green spots on this earthen dam on the far right side are indicators that water's coming through. But what's happening above the dams, they're saying Yosemite flood dangers as new storm slams Sierras. Think about what we're talking about just above this. New information coming in from the California Nevada River Forecast Center is saying that over 90% of California's rivers and 100% of Nevada's are now rated as extremely above their historic daily water levels. Think about that. And snow melt driven flooding in Yosemite Valley and parts of Mariposa County is about to worsen as new thunderstorms packing 50 mile per hour winds slam the Sierra Mountains. We've had extremely high winds here in the southeast, two guys, in the last week. It says, with temperatures jumping to the mid-80s in Yosemite National Park and many parts of the central Sierra Mountains, a rapid snow melt has unleashed the equivalent of an inch of rainfall each day for the last seven days. The water rushing down the mountains caused the Merced River to spike to 1.6 feet over its 10-foot flood stage on May 4th through the May 6th and inundating many, many river communities. Because when you got, if you think about it, you've got Arkansas flooded, you've got Missouri flooded, all of this area on that Black River up there, and it's all coming into the Mississippi River, 
and 10 million people are under flood watch as far as the flood stages of the Mississippi River. And as it moves down into Louisiana, into Baton Rouge and New Orleans, more people are going to be under the alert. We're in climate chaos. The Arctic vortex is out of control due to solar minimum. The good news is the temperature fell into the 40s on Saturday as a new storm is set to drop three to five inches of snow in the Sierras above 500 feet and bring driving rain to the low elevations. Flooding is subsiding on the Merced as the river is expected to fall to eight feet by Monday afternoon. The bad news, and they're calling it really bad news, is that, that the seven-foot central Sierra snowpack at a record 193% of its 100-year average for this time of the year, will swell to the water equivalent of about 43 inches, 12% higher than its all-time record. This is coming from the California Department of Resources. It says rains in the lower elevation will again push the Merced River back up within a foot of its flood stage by Thursday, with temperatures predicted to reach 80 again, the heat could kick off widespread Sierra snow melt flooding. The 100-year average high point for the Sierra snowpack runoff is around July 1st, but with more than twice the snowpack this year and even greater water equivalent, the runoff is expected to last through the entire summer and into the fall. Here's the bad part, and we're going to get into that about Orville. That means the soil around the state's 1,500 downs, 120 rivers, and thousands of flood control levees will be saturated. Now, three weeks ago, they took this picture, long after it started, but this green grass on the side of the dam, now, again, not the spillway, this is the main dam, this is the big boy here, the largest uh, or the highest dam in North America. These green patches that they pointed out, and this was a, in a meeting yesterday with the DRW, they were calling it a natural spring, but it was flowing, it was moving uphill. Now they can't explain why this erosion is coming from under this area. Guys, you don't get a natural spring in the side of a, a earthen dam. They're saying, and the, all the people at the meeting that hire the different professionals, that water is leaking through Orville, that it has for some times. But now with it totally saturated, you can see the effects of this running down this hill, guys. And so they had been in trouble before about at the last moment using cheaper materials on the top of the dam, things like that. But uh, this is a problem right there. It's not just a spillway as they always tried to indicate. And the people at the meeting yesterday really threw this information into their face. Where is this water coming from? And at one time, they said it was leakage that would stop as they were initially building the dam in layers as everything compacted and compressed, but it didn't here. So as the soil saturates more and more, will this earthen dam hold in place? That was not, that's not me saying this. This was the whole gist of the meeting yesterday with the DWR there. Several concerned people. And this is what we got to watch for. And in this report, guys, it, uh, I understand the effect of terracing to slow down that water flow. But in a situation like this, it seems almost extreme. Lake Orville currently sets in an elevation of 838 feet. And DWR, uh, Department of Water Resources officials say that they are prepared to manage snow melt inflows to the reservoir while they maintain, uh, while the main spillway is not in use. The main spillway will be used for another control release in mid-May. It's May 7th. When it comes to the construction and repair of the Oracle Dam spillway, the DWR has awarded Cowett Construction a contract for the repairs. On May 5th and 6th, two days ago, they used control blasting methods to break up the intact rock on the slopes along the main spillway so that it could be safely excavated. Dredge, dredging operations is, have also resumed in the area beneath the spillway. Guys, with that type of uh, soil saturation and removing the stable rocks, don't they think that they can create other problems? 
but it's California. DWR wants to clarify that the green spots along the Oroville Dam are vegetation and pose no threats to the dam safety. But in the report, guys, five paragraphs were completely redacted. You couldn't read it from the engineers. The DWR ensures residents that the dam is sound and safe. Careful investigation found that the stripes are caused by rainwater falling on the face of the dam and seeping into the soil layers, which has caused grass and weeds to grow. Guys, these, this was happening during the drought. It's been going on since they started building this dam. One cover-up after the other. But we're watching it. Pay attention to what's going on with the uh, snow melt. And then new storms coming in and just hope that they can maintain that balance of outflow, keeping the rivers at a minimum, inflow, because they have no choice. But we're watching. It's a heads up. Be safe.